in this week's Adventist News. Ministerial events equip aspiring and experienced pastors. The 10,000 Toes campaign launches in Kiribati. And a new book immortalizes stories of a pioneering PNG missionary. Ministerial events in Australia and New Zealand over the week of March 22 promoted team building and provided guidance to aspiring and experienced ministers. In New Zealand, pastors renewed their commitment to ministry during the North New Zealand Pastors Retreat hosted at the Maranatha Church in Rotorua. Themed I Will Go On, the event challenged ministers to continue God's work despite uncertainties brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, in Australia, 31 ministerial interns and their spouses gained insights into ministry life during the National Intern Camp at the Adventist Alpine Village in Jindabyne. Organised by the Australian Union Conference, the camp is an intensive training program where future pastors learn the foundations of ministry. You can read more about these events on our website. People living in Kiribati can now access health checkups and workshops through a new wellness hub run by Adventists. Supported by the 10,000 Toes campaign, the Tarawa Wellness Hub meets an urgent need in the community, with the nation facing a health crisis due to lifestyle diseases. The launch, broadcast on Hope Radio, was attended by the country's Vice President, Dr. Taiwa Tawatu, and his wife, Brusetta, and Kiribati Mission President, Pastor Tabua Rokiatau, and his wife, Rayobi. Dr. David McClintock brings the compelling story of Haru Hariva, one of the first Papua New Guinean missionaries, to life in his new book, Canoes, Crocodiles and Christ. Dr. McClintock hopes the story encourages a new generation of Adventists that God is with them as they share the good news with those who still haven't heard it. To learn more, visit the Adventist Book Centre website. Well, that's all in this week's Record Wrap. As always, we hope you have a wonderful weekend and God bless.